this is Seth and Jake with ATF Airsoft. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Jangpang JP37 AK47 sniper. Okay, um... This guy sucks. I'll tell you that. Um, he bought this off of... I, I, okay, yeah, let me do this. Yeah, you do this and... Yeah. I bought this off of maybe eBay, I think eBay, for like 30 bucks, $15 for the gun and $15 for shipping. Which is crazy. Um, it's not full scale. I can tell you that. Uh, you can buy it from eBay. I really don't know where else you can buy well, it from. Let me, let me tell you about the scale. Hold, hold it up to the, the full sized AK. Which one looks more realistic? You you hold it below. Look at that. A for this one and B for that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, here, now, now Seth's going to do the review. I like all of it. It's um, his. He gave me this for a starter gun, because this is, he gave me this like, what, two years ago? Like, what, like one year ago? For a Colt pistol? Yeah. Um, the FPS, I'd say, is about... Same thing as, but it's clo pretty, pretty close to my shotgun. Pretty close to a shotgun. It's not the best thing in the world. Um, I took off the, uh, stock because I didn't like it, and it was broken. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of detachable parts, like... The mag is right here. You can't buy extra mags for this because it's a crappy brand. Yeah, there's like... Okay. Um, the scope comes off. It's got the iron sight right there. Lifts up. Six different settings. Uh, two rails on the side. Detachable flashlight. It usually comes with a laser pointer and a bipod, but I didn't bring those over. Um, I like this better, which you can take off the barrel and use it for a smaller kind of micro rifle because it's not automatic. It's spring. <laughs> and uh, I don't know there's anything in it. Um, yeah, I did the camo myself. It's I, it's zebra. I kind of copied it off of Modern Warfare 2 for the FAMOS. Um, it's basically just white stripes, but I didn't really know how to do it, so it's kind of like a snowy. And kinda. the FAMOS like that is only in campaign. Yeah. it's We looked at it at, at a dead guy in the campaign gun like that. It's basically just white tape on the gun because you can see yeah. it start to peel off in the game. Um, I basically just copied it off that. Me and Jake did it one day. It only took us what, like four hours. He also did that AK. I and a pistol. And, a, pistol. and a gold pistol. Low back. And I think it was a, a Crossman Beretta. Um, I think it's a Crossman Beretta M9. Yeah, it's, it's... It's a Stinger P30. Basically. Yeah, okay, keep going with it. Yeah, but um, this gun, don't buy it. It sucks. Unless you're a beginner. Like Nate Parker, which is, he's, gonna get, he's gonna get this for Christmas someday. I guess the Bob. Well, oh, there's some digital tape. Yeah, I had some digital camera on there, with, like that digital duct tape, and then get in there, took it off. That's on. Yeah, and there there is something that comes out and curves down. Yeah, I down. cut that off because it was half broken, like yeah, right there. Cut the neck. Cut it off. And with the stock thing, it's it had a handle. The handle and the, the stock are connected, which it's kind of weird. And the scope does not magnify. It only helps you aim. It's like not really. It just gives you a smaller target to aim at. I actually took out the insides and put new gearbox yep. in, and it used to just shoot and do nothing, but now when you shoot it, you can actually feel a forward kick to the spring, because the spring's, I think, two inches thicker than the other one, because the other spring was, like, that thick. And, um, that's basically it. Yeah, uh, I'd give you a rating for this gun. I'd give this a rating about a one out of a hundred, <laughs> because it, in my words, it sucks. I'd say bad word. Okay, um, it's good for beginners. Yeah. That's it. Um, this is Seth, uh, from ETF Airsoft, and I'm out.